please subscribe please please what is up guys i'm back with another video i hope you're all having a lovely evening or a lovely day or a lovely morning whenever you are watching this video thank you for tuning in now in this video i'm just going to be showing you how i basically detangle my hair so you guys can clearly see in this clip my hair is just very i don't even know what to call it you could say it's shrunk or whatever but basically over the last few days i've had my bonnet on haven't really done anything to my hair other than just have it under my bonnet and go to sleep and get up but it is important i don't advise you guys to do what i did by the way don't do that like moisturize regularly i should be doing this more often but anyways you guys will see the end result as you probably saw i was able to do in the thumbnail put my hair in two buns and you're probably thinking how on earth do you do that with your hair looking like this well you're gonna see it now a lot of people always say whenever it comes to hair they always talk about oils they always talk about this that and the other but at the same time really and truly the main key to hair growth bro is water you need to moisturize your hair it's very important and it's pretty straightforward it's pretty understandable because at the end of the day everything needs water we need to drink water as humans in order to keep our body in check and hydrated. So does your hair. Your hair needs to drink that um, water in order to grow. Just like how a plant needs water to grow, your hair's going to need that. And I'm not comparing your hair to a plant, but it's pretty much the same strategy. Because the thing with oils, you can put so much oils, coconut oil, cast oil, you can put all of that in your hair. There's nothing wrong with that. There's nothing wrong with putting that on your scalp. But at the end of the day, if you're not moisturising, you're just going to get a lot of flakes and product build up. And yeah, it's just important to moisturise. And just putting oils in your hair is going to make your hair very dry. I just want to stress that out to you guys. So it's important to moisturise your hair. So as you guys can see, I'm just putting my hands in a jug of water and just moisturizing my hair pretty much that's all i'm doing really and truly if you have a spray bottle of water that is more advised and if you see a lot of people with their longer hair that's what they use like a spray bottle that's just filled with water i had one but i don't know where it is at this current moment it was very bad anyway it didn't spray the water properly but long story short you just need to moisturize your hair with water it's very important because as you can see my hair's you can see the length getting back to somewhat normal you can see on the well on my left side that the hairs looks longer than the left side and that's mainly because it's getting moisturized so this is the this is what you guys want to be doing because a lot of the times people just do this and just think uh like they they just go along with this hair process and think it's long but that's why I always say, if you don't have the patience, then it's not for you, you know? And it's something, like, if you're going to grow your hair, you really have to take care of it. You can't always just leave it to the hairdresser. It's not all about just being able to take out braids when you're getting ready to... It's not all about that. You've got to learn how to take care of it, bro, because there's going to be times when your hairdresser's not available. There's going to be times when people aren't available. You're going to have to take things into your own hands. Like, it's it's your crown. Take care of it. Do you know what I mean? Just as you would take care of other parts of your body when you're in the shower and things like that, and, you know, keep yourself... What's the word? Hygienic. It's the same way you've got to take care of your hair. Like, give your hair the same treatment because it's very important and it's very good for you mentally as well. I know, once again, people say it's a very long process, but at the same time, to be honest with you, like, things that take very long, at the end of the day, they always come out to be great. So, it's just about that. But anyway, to explain what I'm doing right now, as I said previously, I was just moisturising my head, but at the moment, I'm just here sectioning them into four parts so that I can get into each section properly comb out each section properly so at the moment all parts of my hair are fully moisturized so now i have sectioned off 
the left side of my head and now I'm focusing on the right side. So as you guys can see, I'm going to pull out a product called olive oil. You'll see that in a second. But I do this because I just feel like it's easier for me to just get into each and every section, being able to comb it out properly and detangle each and every knot that is in there. Because if you just go around your whole head trying to comb it, oh, there's the product, olive oil heat protection serum. This is mainly for your ends of the hair, but at the same time, it's very good regardless because it's a funny story actually. My hair dryer exploded or blow dryer, whatever you call it. It exploded. So at the moment, I don't have anything to blow dry my hair with. So right now I have to just work with detangling properly. And I think it's better for me to be honest because it just avoids me using heat in my hair at the end of the day and less heat does make your hair grow faster. So, and one thing, I have said this in the past, if you're at a hairdresser and you don't want them to put heat in your hair, tell them bro, you've got to tell them. But if your hair's obviously at a stage where that cannot happen, then what are the odds? You can't really do much about that. But unless you fully detangle it like I'm doing now and have it in braids or something, and then when you get to the hairdresser, you take out those braids, they'll probably be able to do it but anyway back to the video so as i was saying i'm here after i applied um i said i'm here after i applied that olive oil serum into my hair on the ends mainly i'm now just combing through my hair and just trying to get each and every bit each and every knot out of there so my hair is just smooth and easy to comb and towards the end of the video you will see like well, you can even see now how my hair looks different to how it did in the start of the video. And this is very important. Once again, this is why it's important to moisturise your hair. Like, people just hear this and they're like, oh, that's so long, bro. But no, like, it's, it has to be done. So after completing my whole head of hair, I'm now using the Blue Magic Castor Oil to put into my scalp. Now... I know some people are going to be like, oh, but you didn't put it in every bit of your scalp, though. I know, but for me personally, I know for a fact, whenever I put so much product in my hair, build-up takes place and that causes so much flakes in my hair. And I don't feel like that's good because that just causes my hair to be dry. So I just put the cast oil on the main bits of my scalp that I know get dry the most. And I'm not, I'm not saying that I don't put gel in my hair I said, Joe, I'm not saying I don't put the cost oil in every bit of my hair, but I feel like I usually do that, especially if I'm going to like do braids or a, a protective hairstyle. But if I'm just leaving my hair out or having it in a bun, like how I'm going to have it at the end of the video, I wouldn't really put it on every bit of my hair because if my hair is going to be out, I know for a fact so much build up is going to take place. And the next thing you know, my hair will just become flaky in the next couple of days because of all the build up. And I don't want that. So I just apply the gel in the main bits on my scalp because I know the centre and the centre across my head get really dry if I don't apply anything to it. And it's happened before. Sometimes it can even be painful, so I have to be careful. But that's just me. Like, it, it, everybody works in their own way. That's how I do it for myself. But if you know, or if you know this is you as well, these things happen to you, I'd, probably advise you to do this it's up to you though however you want to take care of your hair that's up to you but as you can see now i'm just combing out the bonds that i had my hair in and you guys can clearly see the difference you look how longer my hair looks now or look how healthy it looks now compared to the start of the video the start of the video my hair was just compacted just flat just small squished whatever words you want to use but look at it now like i'm able to just comb through it well now i'm able to just catch it up in a little bun and yeah obviously towards the back of my hair you guys probably saw already not all of it catches up into the bun but that's okay because my hair is obviously not very long in order for me to like catch every single bit of it into the bun which is why i can't really put it into a ponytail but at the end of the day, you gotta do what works for you. Now I'm just doing the same thing on the other side of my head. And I must say that feeling of when your hair is just detangled and there's no knots anymore, 
it just feels really good it just feels like you've accomplished something like you just feel healthy you just feel good about your hair and it's a really nice feeling and once again those of you that are watching and you've had struggles with how you've been going to sleep because a lot of people say when they go to sleep their hair goes flat and they don't know what to do and a lot of people have come to me with these questions on instagram and even snapchat but this is why it's important like a lot of people think when their hair is short they can't do anything with it but i just want to be able to prove to you guys you still can you still can moisturize your hair it's possible make sure you do it often it's not all the time you need to wash your hair too much like yes wash your hair at least once a week or so whatever works for you but me personally i'm not gonna wash my hair every day why am i gonna do that when i can moisturize it like this if that makes sense like this so it is possible but anyway i hope you guys did enjoy this video i hope you were able to take some valuable advice i hope it was valuable but i will catch you guys in the next video make sure to like comment and subscribe and god bless you all stay safe see ya Please subscribe, please, please.